Talking with Bob Danley from the Lee Metcalf National Wildlife Refuge. Yeah, you've got some hatches, little little yeah. midges and things midges. all over the place, don't That's you? That's exactly right. In fact, that mid, those midges are like the hamburger that drives everything <laughs> um, for the wetland community. Um, they, um, in their immature phase, um, they're like an earth. They're earthworm-like, except they're really small, but they're really bright red. And that uh, as they mature, they morph into the winged insect that looks like a mosquito, sounds like a mosquito, but isn't. It doesn't bite or anything. It has. You can tell the difference between that and a mosquito because midges have feathered antennae. Plus, they they cluster right in front of your face they usually. Do. In fact, <laughs> usually when you see them, there's like huge swarms of them. So yeah, so you're you're correct, and yep, and that's a good way of identifying them too. So again. Um, you're going to have a chance to see 25 different kinds of water birds. Um, one that's right here right now that's really colorful is the cinnamon teal. And uh, the name says it all. It's uh, a really a bright cinnamon, probably more on the red end of the spectrum than cinnamon, but, you know, just a totally beautiful animal. You've also got uh, some uh, Canada geese that are laying eggs now, too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, they're sitting on their nests. And, uh, you know, the interesting uh, challenge uh, for the osprey when they come back is that the geese have kind of usurped their platforms. Mm-hmm. So I guess they like the, um, the top floor of those condominiums <laughs> just like the rest of us. So, yeah, and in fact, the osprey cannot eject those birds. Um, it's the, the geese are just really, they're, they're set. And they're going to stay in that, that particular location until their eggs hatch and the young take the fast elevator down. So so um, are we getting any hatching early in the season, or is that a no, few I weeks think, away? I think everything is pretty much close on time, and there's some exceptions to the rule, of course. But, you know, um, birds are trickling in. You know, we're not, we're not getting huge waves. Um, I can tell you, folks, though, you know, when we get these little... Um, fronts moving through that's really good time to be out wildlife watching especially if it's not pouring down really hard if it's a off and on sprinkle cool temps you know that really concentrates wildlife and that that is really the time to be outside like you can see if you're in the right place you can see like uh, hundreds of swallows dancing over the water yeah you know and uh, that's quite a spectacle just like the, the snow geese typically you see them when the weather is not really blue sky it's kind of forces them down or makes them <clears throat> lower in the atmosphere where you can actually hear and see the, you know, the, the spectacle. All right. Thanks, Bob. Everybody have a great